year ago, my life had collapsed around me. I'd worked myself into exhaustion. My father died suddenly, and my relationships were in turmoil. Little did I know at the time, out of my greatest despair, was to come the greatest gift. I'd been given a glimpse of a great secret. I began tracing the secret back through history. believe all the people who knew this. They were the greatest people in history. Oh, I just mean you won't know this. All I wanted to do was share the secret with the world. I began searching for people alive today who know the secret. One by one, they began to emerge. You know, this secret gives you everything you want. Happiness, health, and wealth. You can have, do, or be anything you want. We can have whatever it is that we choose. I don't care how big it is. What kind of a house do you want to live in? Do you want to be a millionaire? What kind of a business do you want to have? Do you want more success? What do you really want? I've seen many miracles take place in people's lives. Financial miracles, miracles of physical healing, mental healing, healing in relationships. All of this happened because of knowing how to apply the secret. This is the great secret of life. probably been sitting there wondering what is the secret I'll tell you how I have come to understand it we all work with one infinite power we all guide ourselves by exactly the same laws the natural laws of the universe are so precise that we don't even have any difficulty building spaceships, we can send people to the moon, and we can time the landing with the precision of a fraction of a second. I don't care if you're in India, if you're in Australia, New Zealand, Stockholm or London, or Toronto or Montreal or New York, we're all working with one power, one law, it's attraction. The secret is the law of attraction. Everything that's coming into your life, you are attracting into your life. And it's attracted to you by virtue of the images you're holding in your mind. It's what you're thinking. You see, whatever is going on in your mind, you are attracting to you. 
Now, wise people have always known that. You can go right back to the ancient Babylonians. They've always known this. It's a small, select group of people. Why do you think that 1% of the population earns around 96% of all the money that's being earned? Do you think that's an accident? It's no accident. It's designed that way. They understand something. They understand the secret. And you are being introduced to the secret. The simplest way for me to look at the, the law of attraction is if I think of myself as a magnet and I know that a magnet will attract to it. Very basically put, the law of attraction says that like attracts like, but we're really talking at a level of thought. Our job as humans is to hold on to the thoughts of what we want, make it absolute clear in our minds what we want, and from that we start to invoke one of the greatest laws in the universe, and that's the law of attraction. You, you, you become what you think about most, but you also attract what you think about most. If you see it in here, you're going to hold it here. And that principle can be summed up in three simple words. Thoughts become things. What most people don't understand is a thought has a frequency. Every thought has a frequency. We can measure a thought. And so if you're thinking that thought over and over and over again, or if you're imagining in your mind, okay, having that brand new car, having the money that you need, building that company, finding your soulmate, if you imagine what that looks like, you're emitting that frequency on a consistent basis. Thoughts are sending out that magnetic signal that is drawing the parallel back to you. See yourself living in abundance, and you will attract it. It always works. It works every time with every person. Here's the problem. Most people are thinking about what they don't want, and they're wondering why it shows up over and over and over again. The law of attraction doesn't care whether you perceive something to be good or bad or whether you don't want it or whether you do want it. It's responding to your thoughts. So if you're sitting there looking at a mountain of debt, feeling terrible about it, that's the signal you're putting out into the universe. Wow, I feel really bad because of all this debt I've got. You're just affirming it to yourself. You feel it on every level of your being. That's what you're going to get more of. So when you're looking at that thing you want and you're saying yes to it, you're activating a thought. And the law of attraction is responding to that thought and bringing you things that match that. But when you are looking at something that you do not want and you shout no at it, you're actually not pushing it away. Instead, you're activating the very thought of what you do not want and now law of attraction is lining those things up for you also. This is a universe that is based upon attraction. Everything is about attraction. The law of attraction is always working. Whether you believe it or understand it or not, it's always working. You might be thinking about the past or the present or the future, but whether you're remembering or observing or imagining, still in that process you are activating thought. And law of attraction, which is the most powerful law in the universe, is responding to your thought. Creation is always happening. Every time an individual has a thought or a prolonged, uh, chronic way of thinking, they're in the creation process. Something is going to manifest out of those thoughts. Law of Attraction says, we'll give you whatever it is you say and focus on. And so if you're complaining about how bad it is, what you're creating is more of how bad it is. Oh, look! I can't that!